Good evening everybody, this is Tess Crawley, clinical and forensic psychologist, um, coming to you live this evening from the Gold Coast and it's a rainy night and I haven't got any headphones in. So we're relying on the camera's microphone tonight so I hope that the sound is okay. Now I'm going to just very quickly share this live stream into my um, closed community which is um, the group called the Stigma Rebellion. So if you're interested in joining the closed group so that you can um, comment and interact live then of course you can do that by joining the Stigma Rebellion. The trouble is I can't actually find um, ah, the Wi-Fi is being slow, so we might not be able to go live into the Stigma Rebellion tonight, but we'll just see how we go. I'll keep an eye on that as we go. You can hear perhaps the rain tonight. Um, it's been quite an overcast and rainy Gold Coast day today. And I'm sitting, you can see in the background here, amongst my dad's beautiful orchids. Who knew my dad was an orchid man, hey? So, um, can't do much about the live sharing so I'm, I'm apologizing to my stigma rebellion rebels um, I can't share live tonight we've just got a little bit of a technical issue but as soon as I can rectify that I will um, I can see I've got three of you with me tonight so do feel free to say hello don't be shy I wanted to have a chat um, tonight I'm dedicating tonight's vlog to a, a community very close to my heart um, and that is the um, southern east coast communities of Swansea and Orford and of course including in that Triabunna so it's a bit of a, a little cluster on the southern east coast of Tasmania um, there's been a terrible tragedy in that community and the community is grieving and I'm not going to go into great detail about that um, but I wanted to talk um, quickly I guess about why I um, am so very passionate about supporting our rural Tasmanian communities. Um, we, um, my first foray into rural psychology um, started in, um, oh gosh, about three, four years ago, um, 2013 I think it was, um, when I um, experimented <laughs> Uh, one day a fortnight with a, um, a rural outreach service to Triabunna, um, attending the medical centre in Triabunna once a fortnight from my home base in Hobart. And I was um, amazed to see the strength with which the community embraced uh, that service being delivered into the East Coast. Um, I became so busy over time, I kept adding and adding and adding more time into that Triabunna practice so that before too long, one day a fortnight became my family living full time um, in the Orford community, about five minutes drive from Triabunna. Um, my children attended the Orford Primary School there and over um, a period of time we also developed really strong ties with the Swansea um, Medical Centre as well and I started travelling up to Swansea, um, hosted very um, generously by um, the doctors in Swansea. So um, Dr Pranesh Naidu, Dr Winston Johnson in Triabunna, um, Dr Camilla Byrne and Dr Andrew Grove in Swansea, um, all four of those doctors embraced our service and supported our service and it grew and grew and grew um, and what amazed me was the courage of the community not being afraid to ask for help when they needed it not being afraid to be seeing the psychologist in such small communities um, not being afraid to take on board that type of, of help um, which wasn't really available um, I think there had been a couple of visiting psychologists prior to my service starting in those regions and certainly there had not been a resident psychologist in the community. Um, I remember um, one of the first things that stood out to me was um, the willingness of that community to welcome me and to welcome my family into their hearts. And, uh, and I have made some incredibly close friends who I hold very, very dear in those communities. Um, I grew to know most of the families um, in the Orford Primary School community very well and of course the staff as well. Um, but my love affair with rural Tasmania actually predates my relationship with Orford and Swansea. 
uh, and try a bunner, of course. Um, when I was a very little girl, I had a, a brief, um, but um, I would say indelibly imprinted on my memory, a brief period of time, about six months, living on a farm um, just out of Cressy in northern Tasmania near Launceston. And uh, it was an old farmhouse in the middle of a larger farm. And uh, we lived there for only about six months and I never forgot the, um, the experience of living amongst a working farm, having the bulls roaring um, you know, in the mornings and having the sheep mowing our lawns and having a river running through my backyard with platypuses swimming about in it. And for me, um, growing up, driving through the Tasmanian countryside is such a visual memory for me. I remember the colour of the soil when we would drive to the northwest coast as a child, and I remember, you know, the burnt hills sometimes in summertime where the, the soil was bare uh, and there was no grass to be seen. And people have an assumption that Tasmania is a lush green place, which of course it is, but we're also, um, Hobart is the second driest capital in the, in the country, so, you know, our rainfall is quite low. So, you know, the Tasmanian rural landscape, the Tasmanian rural people, they've had a very tough time over the years with droughts and with fires, and that tends to be a cyclical thing. Um, my dedication to providing a psychological service, as I've gotten to know the Orford, Tribunner and Swansea communities so beautifully and so well, um, it has become a bit of a passion of mine, I suppose, to make sure that those services remain stable and viable into the future. And in fact, some of my early conversations with um, medical practitioners in the area were about their frustrations around services that would come and go um, at the whim of um, you know, external funding bodies. So we've tried to make sure, we, we, at the moment we supported very generously by Primary Health Tasmania with funding from the federal government. But the service in Triabunna started before we had any external funding. Um, so a mission of mine is to make sure that our rural services remain stable and remain viable into the future, whether we have funding or not. Um, to achieve that, um, you know, I have a team of clinicians now that travel to the southern east coast. It's not too far I drive out of Hobart for us to achieve that into the future. Um, but I have made sure that our northern east coast clients, so our St Helens clients, now have a resident mental health practitioner, Sarah France, who's a um, mental health accredited social worker. So she lives in the region and it's been a, had been a mission of mine for some time to have someone living in that community as well to make sure that the service was, was um, stable. Um, so for me, you know, I have a very soft spot in particular, of course, for the Southern East Coast, um, for that, that, um, that community in grief at the moment. Um, my heart is very much with you all, um, and I've um, done what I can to make it really clear that, that our clinicians are available, that I'm available. If you know me personally, of course I'm available. Um, but to the community as a whole, please know that um, you know, we're all feeling for you all, um, and we're standing alongside you. Um, at such a terrible time. Um, I know that the strength in that community is astounding. I know that the love and the warmth within that community is just awe-inspiring and I know that you will all support each other um, but do reach out if you need some extra support. There are plenty of services, not just mine, who are available to help if you need it. Um, but don't be afraid to shout out. So that was my little ode to rural Tasmania and particularly to um, the Orford and Triabunna and Swansea communities. Um, I, I, I hold you so dearly in my heart um, and I always will. Have a great night tonight. Do your best to be gentle if you're, if you're at pain or suffering and grieving tonight. Um, look after yourselves as best you can and um, my thoughts are with you. Take care all. Bye bye.